like Incineroar and like even like Belmonts are very controversial characters. Like most of the time, I'll hear people say they're like kind of bad, but then like they get hit they, by that one jank thing. But it's like yeah, I I just feel like the characters um, when they are in the advantage state, it's just so deadly. And they just have very like unique tools. Like Darkest Lariat is really, really strong. Um, you have intangible like hands, and even like on the first spin, like the head's intangible as well. Very like, like unique tools for the character. Yeah, I believe the first hit comes out like super fast, like frame like four or something too. Let me let me look it up. I, I know like the intangibility, like there's intangibility on the move, and it comes out like pretty early. Um, but we're we're probably gonna see Mega go with the Incineroar, I assume. Right. I mean, he might pull out the Me Brawler oh, and be like trainer. super like. Feisty? Yeah. He's he's trying to level it up for those super bad matchups, but I mean, at this point, like, when you're up against Sweet Tea, just go for your, your tried and true. Yeah, okay, so the, the attack comes out on frame five, and from, like, there's invincibility on the. when it starts on frame five. Yep. Three, two, one, go! Gonna get a quick fair. Oh, you try to punish the high recovery with the Tenor, but it's not going to find it. Gets baited out with the Grammy. He's going to eat a full combo for that. Yeah, and now he's off stage. He's trying to... Yeah. I mean, he's fine. Oh, no, he's not. Yet again. Oh, no punish. I, he, he definitely wanted to drop through the giant. But now, I mean, Mega's got an, a lot of rage here, but man, Sweet Tea has not taken much damage. This Pokemon trainer is going to work. Yeah, again, he's just walling out Incineroar. I mean, what is Incineroar going to do? He's so slow that he can't really approach him that well. Ooh, there's the Nair. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the one thing about Incineroar that it's kind of rough to play. It's like your your character that has a uh, bad recovery. Wow, very beautiful switch there from Sweet Tea. The switch right into the down smash. Um, you have intangibility frame one on that switch, which is insane. It's better. It's a better air dodge, essentially. Yeah. And you get to switch Pokemon too, and wow, so much damage. The triple up air into the Vine Whip. And again, like, what is Mega going to do? Because he's so slow, but he's going to up tilt the up air, and it, oh, gets sneaks in the back air. He's going for the edge guard. It's a ledge trap here. There's a down tilt. Yep, there's, oh. Oh, you know, there was a punish. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. Uh, Incineroar's forward tilt has no sour spot. It's just, like, the whole move is just strong. All right. But on the flip side, it's one if it's slower move. Yes, for sure. Man, how's Mega going to seal out the stock? I mean, he has so much power with Incineroar, but now Sweet Tea on the Charizard, the heaviest of the three. Very good uh, stock tanker, so to speak. Has kill throws as well. I mean, Charizard is basically like, how well do you handle control? Yeah. Oh, that should be no, not Charizard's, even close. Wow. Charizard's heavy, and that's what I was saying. Like, how do you handle control? 175%. The back air kills him cross stage, though. I mean, all that rage definitely did not help at all. But yet again, he manages to sneak in that up air for the stock. But is it a little bit too little to lay at this point? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, this is rough. That is going to be such a great tool against Incineroar. The uh, Incineroar up, he actually like peaks a little bit above the ledge, even if you try to like just snap. It's uh, So it, it's definitely like very susceptible to like two frames. Oh, he's trying to read the fourth match, but unfortunately, Squirtle's just gonna drift back and avoid it all. Okay, here's Sweet Tea coming in with the side B, down throw into the Vine Whip. Gonna take quite a bit of damage here, but Mega's still alive. Yeah, again, gets the grab on the back air. He's not gonna be able to follow it up with anything, but, ooh, he, he wanted something more off of that down throw, but, yeah. you know, he, he'll get what he can at this point. The up tilt, Mega still trying to seal out this stock here. Another forward air, and again, oh, but the four, yeah, another forward air will seal it out, kind of sneaking right underneath that flamethrower. Oh, but here's the up, up throw up air. Oh, oh. I, I don't know if that up throw would have killed, but. Oh, but he's just sharking with all these up airs. And yet again, he's at 67%. This is really bad for Sweet Tea if he gets grabbed at this percent with the, the side beat man grab. Oh, there's a there off stage. Now he's now he's at Charizard. Oh, <laughs> okay. This shouldn't be it. I don't. I don't think that feels good. It's in a very heavy. Wow. Kind of went yeah, straight Incineroar up there. is like the, the fourth heaviest character in the game. So. Yeah, man. 
I mean, this is, this is tough. Yeah. Fun fact, uh, Incineroar and Charizard are both the same player. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool, that's, that's super cool. Whoa, oh. the DI there on Sweet T. Wow, and Mega. The pop off game one, all right? I mean, he just snuck in that fair, and I feel like Sweet T was trying to DI away just to like avoid that fair, and yeah. unfortunately, he gets hit by it. It's such a like short hit stun move that like it just there's no way to DI in the opposite direction. And by the time he got he was, hit by it, you're already dead. Yeah, he was definitely drifting to the right there. Um, did not expect him to uh, put the pressure on right there. But honestly, that's how Mega got that second stock as well. You know, that, that offstage double jump forward air. Uh, wow, and what a what a comeback from Mega. Really solid ledge trapping, I want to point out. It was just really, really good. Sealed out two of the stocks offstage as well. So now Sweet T down a game, and Mega coming into this game number two with that momentum, man. Because especially when you make a comeback like that game one, like, so good. Getting a quick down tilt combo. Oh, try try catching the landing with the side beat. But. Okay, trying to get this early game. Uh, can't blame Sweetie. That's just that's where you can really make Incineroar suffer. You know what I mean? You don't want this character on stage for too long. Oh, but yep, that's the thing about pairing. You gotta. It's 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 a lot harder on multi hits unless you know you're a character like Fox or other characters that have very fast options out of parry. Like a character with like a strong like up B out of shield or like a strong like air. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then now we got, oh, but the forward smash charge, still not enough. Like you said, Incineroar, very, very strong here. Can he get the dare? No, doesn't go for it. Okay, oh, wow, he held down. Yeah. Just he, he knows that oh, if you're going to go for that dare, you know, like that's, I'm going to hit you for it, basically, before you can hit me. Oh, try going for that forward tilt. But he manages to get the Marcus Larian instead. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's one of like his quickest options, or at least like one that's gonna do a lot of knockback. Oh. I, think it, I think it is his quickest option. option. And then like it beats out spot dodge, so if, like we try to like hit you with an aerial and then like spot dodge afterwards, like you'll beat it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, jab one is frame five, so it's literally like the same frame as his jab, so why not? He, like does way more damage, lingers as well. Like you said, can cover spot dodge, which is a very popular option, and that should be the stock there. Yeah, Sweet T gonna put the cherry on top there with the down air. And right now, looking like a very, very fine lead. But the dash attack will take out that first stock. And we've seen Mega make these comebacks. Right. So we'll see if uh, Sweet T just learned from his mistake or not. Oh, like you said, there's the Darkest Lariat covering that spot dodge. Another spot dodge getting covered here from Mega. Trying to uh, man grab on back on the stage, but you know that's gonna be punished. And Squirtle just so good at with punishing things. Oh, he was so close to getting the the nair up there. So he Incineroar has armor on the way up with Uppy, but not on the way down. Oh, and he had to eat that, or his yeah. shield was getting broken. So I don't know if he dropped shield or just got shield poked. But I mean, but he ate so much damage from that flamethrower too. Yeah, yeah. Mega is bleeding. I mean, he's heavy because he's Incineroar, but. Man, like, I mean, so is Charizard, and Charizard's yeah. not gonna die for like another solid like 20%. There's the Lariat off stage again, sneaking underneath the flank or Sweet Tea trying to use it as a defensive option off stage. Up throw definitely not gonna do it. Yeah, not even close. I mean, maybe at this percent, but oh, definitely at this percent. But whoa. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I like the direction. I think Sweet right was sweating a little bit there. Oh, no, punish on the up beam. That was a big deal. Maybe backer would have killed. Um, or just, like, get that offstage situation. Here's the flamethrower, angling it down. Even more damage. A grab will uh, definitely do it. Wow, poor throw. Yeah. Cool. Damn, Charizard, one of those characters with, like, multiple kill throws. I mean, that DI mix up is, like, so key. All right, so now he's getting, like, oh, is the up throw going to kill? Let me DI out so I don't die, and then all of a sudden you get four thrown and you just die super early instead. Yeah. Ooh, but wait, wait, yo. You gotta, dude, okay, so, my, what's your favorite song for, like, Final or Battlefield? Uh, personally, personally, I like the Dark Hunt theme. Okay. The the, the, the the big boss battle themes. Right, the right. Dark like, those are always hard to listen to. I'm a man of culture, so, uh, Melee Break the Target. It's a, it's, a, it's, it's a classic. But, I mean, th these songs are good, too. Yeah. I mean, Smash doesn't have, like, a, like bad song for the most part, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, um, from the Smash uh, soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a couple sus ones on Pokemon stages. Only a couple. Most of them are really good, though. Oh, 
gets the parry, but manages to find the, the Darkest Larry instead. Yeah, there's a revenge. Oh, so um, I just read on Ultimate Frame Data that you can only store three revenges. I did not know that. Right. But they stack to each other. Also, like, well, yeah, all three of them stack, but you can't like stack five or right. you, like you can only stack three. But wow, Mega going to take that first stock. So the other thing about revenge is that at most, the most amount of damage that you can do with revenge is with the side B, and it does seventy five percent. Like added damage? Uh, like so, like the oh, side Oh, that's like the most you can ever get out of anything. Right. If you like stack three revenge, all oh, but the air. He thought he had to tech there. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you up with some facts. So if you think you have to tech, but you don't know for sure, you can always tech and up B, and you'll do both. Like if you have to tech, you'll tech, and if you um, if you can't tech because you're not like put in that position, you'll just up B. So technically, that should never happen ever. But it, you, know, you kind of have to get used to it. It's a really good option to select. But right now, two stocks apiece here. Sweet Tea keeping up the up air pressure, baiting out the revenge as well. And again, he has to be back to stage and manages to do so. And it is, oh, he had to do that, otherwise his shield would have been broken. Yeah. yeah and that, that's another great thing about uh, Lariat as well. Oh, there's oh. no. And yeah. again, having the drop shield right there just so that it stays, like, not broken. Yeah, and I mean, it's, it's such a good lingering option, too. The ledge trapping that this character can do is very insane. There's the down air, but gets punished because he uh, hit that down air. There's the switch. So, so good coming out from Sweet Tea. That was so smart. He knows that he wanted to, um, like, really just kill him and get the grab, but Mega, wow, with the taunt? I mean, you gotta hype yourself up if you feel it, you know? Yeah, this is game three. Oh, this, oh, the vine whip doesn't connect, though. He's on stage. This is a this is a really big deal. That that gimp was very key. Thought he was gonna get the tech in. Oh, good good get up attack to beat out the forward smash. Oh, oh nope. Okay, there's the nair. Holds oh. down on the up. He really good mix ups coming out from Mega. And here's the. Oh my god. Got a that trade. Was, yeah. Oh, that was another great. Like Jacob is switching really well right now. And oh. there's the nair, and but that'll has, do it. No, but he has a side beat. Oh, but not quite enough. Sorry guys, spoilers, man. <laughs> Cross drop is good, but not that good. Yeah. yeah. So, like essentially, once you get that double jump, uh, Incineroar is—it's pretty much a wrap for Incineroar for the. Moment.